we're going to explain how to auto jump in Roblox on your PC. There are a few ways to achieve this, primarily using keyboard shortcuts or third-party software, but keep in mind that using third-party software can violate Roblox's terms of service and lead to account bans. We'll focus on the safer keyboard-based method. One, the most common method involves using a keyboard macro. A macro is a pre-recorded sequence of keystrokes. Many keyboards have built-in macro functionality, or you can use third-party software designed for macro creation. Proceed cautiously with these. Two, to create a simple auto jump macro, you'll need to record a sequence that presses the spacebar repeatedly at a chosen interval. Three, the interval determines how frequently your character jumps, too fast, and it might look unnatural or even get you stuck, too slow, and it won't be effective for things like quickly traversing obstacles. Four, experiment to find the optimal jump speed for your needs and the game you're playing. Five, once you've recorded your macro, assign it to a convenient key. This could be a less frequently used key like a function key, F1, F12, or a combination of keys to avoid accidentally activating it. Six, test your auto jump macro in a safe environment, such as a Roblox games practice area or a private server. Seven, adjust the timing and keystrokes if necessary until you achieve a smooth and consistent auto jump. Eight, remember that using macros might be considered against the rules in competitive games or those with specific anti-cheat measures. Nine, Always check the specific game's rules and regulations before using any macros. One zero dot. If you're uncomfortable with keyboard macros, you can explore using Roblox Studio, but this requires more advanced programming knowledge. In Roblox Studio, you can create a script that simulates the spacebar press using Lua programming language, but this is significantly more complex than using a simple macro. 11. It is crucial to understand that automating actions in Roblox while sometimes useful for accessibility or convenience, can have consequences if misused or against a game's rules. Always prioritize fair play and respect the game's terms of service. Using third-party software to automate actions carries significant risk, therefore it's recommended to stick to built-in keyboard macro functionalities whenever possible. It's always a good idea to be mindful of the rules and regulations before using any kind of automation in the game.